Hello, dear friends. My name is KJ in the Ray. I am on YouTube. Uh, I want to talk to you. Uh, I didn't think I was going to do this video, but I wanted to get with you. I'm actually sitting at my kitchen table. Now, I have spent the last four plus years on social media, specifically YouTube. And I've tried to keep the, what is it? The religion, sex, and uh, political affiliations out of the situation because people have very strong feelings about what they believe in terms of politics. I understand that. I want to say up front that I respect anyone's understanding of what they believe in terms of who they vote for, uh, the policies, the things that are important to them. You know, my life is not your life. Uh, you could live a totally different life than me. And, and I honor and respect that, okay? I just want to say that up front. But something has really gotten hold of me. And it, it may be, maybe it's just this backwards-ass country woman from Tennessee is sitting here online and who the hell is she and blah, 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 blah. Uh, the folks that I usually deal with. It's unfortunate because there's a such thing as confirmation bias. And unless I line up with someone else's beliefs or the way they see things, they might disagree with me. And what happens normally is they're like, no, she don't believe the way I do. So I don't want shit to do with her and all this and that. Folks, we are in a time here in the United States of America where all voices, all voices need to be heard. It doesn't mean that you've got to sign up to what I believe. You don't have to agree with what I believe. If you were to be the one right now talking to me and I was looking at you on YouTube, I, it might be like, oh, shit, they're saying something that that I don't believe or they're saying something that I just don't think is right or true or whatever. Folks, we are living in a country. We are living in a country where we can't even get medical care. We can't even uh, freaking afford where we live. We are doing everything. We are doing everything legally. We're doing everything we can. And then we wonder. We wonder and think we're above people that go out here and do illegality just to survive. Folks, let's, let's just take a moment. Let's just take a moment to think about this. Social media, the media in general, have warped us all over a long period of time. It's just what it is. Let me give you an example. Who told you? Who told you that a woman's got to look like Kim Kardashian to be beautiful? Who? Who told you this? When in 18th century paintings, there were women that were full figured, a little heavier set, and it was a sign of nobility. Give me a break, y'all. It's all about what is in here, what is inside of you. Who am I? 
Who am I to even talk to you like this? Well, I'll tell you why I'm talking to you like this. Because wouldn't you want people to hear you? Wouldn't you want people to hear what you really had to say that came from the heart? Are you too afraid to do that? Because nine times out of 10, okay, Jay's worried that what I'm going to say is going to ruffle some feathers and people are going to be turned off and all this and that. Why? Why? Why can't I just show and demonstrate that I'm who I am? Do you have to judge this? Put me in a fucking category. We don't have to be in a category. We can be judged by God Almighty, and that's the only one. We're living in a time where we're being lied to all the time in social media, or... We're getting the brain rot because all these commercials are slowly brainwashing us to go try their product. Folks, it's a fact. Just type in, in any search engine, media influence statistics. How about before the age of 18? People have watched over 4,000 simulated murders and mutilations of life. And here we are, gonna go into politics and talk about, ah, uh, this is a terrible choice for a president. Folks, my heart goes out to everyone. My heart wants everyone to feel peace of mind that is my herald there, y'all. I want people to be peaceful in their heart. They can have shit going on around them all the damn time and making them a nervous freaking wreck. But deep down, there's a peace there. And that peace is Jesus Christ. You better believe it. For me. For you. I don't know. I don't know. But last night's presidential debate proved to me now more than ever. I mean, it just backs up what I've always felt. That Kabuki theater does not need to rule my life. Uh, people telling me what's beautiful don't need to damn be in my life. I need to figure that out for myself because I trust myself. I believe in myself. I want better for myself. Not because I'm self-centered or narcissist or whatever. If I can't be good for me, I ain't gonna be good for nobody. And you have to apply that to the presidential race. How about this? Try this on for size. If Donald Trump or Joe Biden had to come and take care of your obligations, like they had to live in your place and protect your family and make money for your family and you know feed your family, um, support your family, uplift your family, let them have a better life than, that's what I want. I've got three sons, ages 24, 30, and 32. I want that for them. I want better for them. I don't feel worthy enough to be their mother, but I take it on in humbleness. And I do the best I know how. The best I ever did for my children is every single day of my life. I pray to my God and I ask my God to help my children, to keep them safe. That it is, if it's God's will, if it's God's will, and I, I talk to my, my God. 
I think you know what I'm saying. I'm saying if you get to the core of it, if you get to the core of politics or beliefs or opinions or disagreements about how other people are, what they want us to believe is there is a right and a left, and we're not talking about right as in their right and their left. It's more like right, the direction, and left, right? And then there's all that space in between. And politically speaking, and I want you to hear me on this, even though you're like, oh man, this woman is freaked out. Listen to me. Here's the right, here's the left. We got the House of Representatives, we have the Senate, right? When they're in there doing this all the time, it's a bunch of kabuki theater and then they're all going out for cigars after they are all film, because they all get along. The United States of America has many politicians that do have the best interest of this country at heart. They're thinking about the national security. They're thinking about what they know to keep this country safe. And I prayed for that and it came true. And, and I'm so glad of that. I'm glad that I can acknowledge that, that there are people in government that really do want to keep the United States of America safe. That's what I needed to know. And I believe that. I think deep within it all, the United States of America is gonna always protect itself. And if anyone challenges the United States of America, we're talking about like a polecat on a mouse. We're talking about uh, a, a freaking damn pit bull uh, tearing up some dang intruder's leg because they wanna come in your house and they wanna kill your ass or steal or whatever. Metaphors, metaphors of this country. This country is beautiful in so many ways. And you know why this country is so beautiful? Because it has all of this culture and all these beautiful people from all over the world. And they're the only them they're ever going to be. And they've all come to the United States for whatever reason. But when they got here, when they got here and were able to stay, they would look at national security. They would look at the reality of how the United States is so ill-prepared in some areas. Not in the world, but they're ill-prepared to understand the needs of their own citizens. We got childcare that was not even discussed last night at the debates. It's killing all these single parents. These people want to do the right thing. They want to raise their children right. They want to obey the laws. They want to pay their freaking taxes. And they have no safety. Whether they're for guns or not for guns. Whatever the issue. It is so complex. And for someone to shut another person out because they have a different view, not of the whole thing, but maybe some portion of it, shut them out. Well, I'll tell you this. I want you to look at me. I know I'm beautiful to look at, right? There have been many times in my life that I've misjudged people. And I shouldn't have been judging them at all. I should have just been a friend and understood that humanity deserves some compassion. But folks, people have been beautifully loving to other people. And those other people have ended up destroying them, killing them, killing family members. Are we supposed to stop reaching out? Are we supposed to be an isolated nation? 
Fuck what China's doing. Fuck what Putin's doing. Fuck what Ukraine's doing. What Israel's doing. Everything has fallen on the United States time and time again because of the makeup of what the United States of America stands for. People don't understand that. They're, they're looking at local and state, you know, as far as their daily lives. And then they are like, what the hell is the federal government doing? Why do I have to pay taxes to the federal government when the state budget, if the state's not getting money from the federal budget, if it was, if it's all, um, you know, private sector, it's because it works the way it does. Listen, I'm going to be clear with you. I don't think we need a federal government. I think the federal government uh, and all that the federal government stands for could be written into all state laws without there being this great big freaking damn parasite of all these people that are making, you know, that's got this excellent, excellent freaking health care and, and status and money and all this other shit. But that's what the American people have given them. They would have to, right? I mean, people want to complain, oh, the, the people that we send and we elect to the House and Senate, they got better health insurance than I do. Some people out here don't even have health insurance, blah, 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 blah. Well, if we didn't give something, a benefit, in order for a person to live, I mean, we'd have to give them a salary. We'd have to give them health insurance, right? Isn't that one of the most important things that we should be considering in terms of uh, anybody reaching out of any quality to serve this country? I mean, there are a lot of hurting people. There are a lot of hurting people in the world and if I was having the, I mean, I've lived it, y'all. I've been homeless, okay? I, I'm telling you, I've, I've lived every, every bit of it, except I've never been, I never had a lot of money. I mean, well, in terms of what media thinks a lot of money is, right? Is that, is that what we're talking about? I mean, is that what we're talking about? Money. And everything that everyone says is tied to this desire for money. I don't think so. I don't think so. I think there are a lot of people out here that give of themselves every single day that it hurts to have to do that financially, but they're like, man, you know, Everyone's in a different place and everyone deserves some kind of civility. And even people that have messed up and done stupid shit, everybody deserves equality. You know, and that's where I lean toward liberalism. I mean, I was forced in the liberal arts division in college when I was doing political science and I just... You know, you got people out here, you know, that's like, uh, I think therefore I am and here I am growing up or God said, I am that I am. Think about that. I've had, I've had so many arrows in my life, y'all. Think about the arrows that you have had to dang thwart. The things that, that people have done to you or your stupid ass did some stuff and and it all came raining down. Life is really <laughs> most important. You wanna hear when life is most important? When you're seeing it through your own eyes and you have a right to see it the way you wanna see it. How about that? I mean, you know, there's nothing wrong with civil discourse, right? 
I mean, you can, someone could, you could say something. Someone could say, well, you know why I disagree with that? And this is the reason why. And it could go on for hours or both of y'all could be like, fuck you, motherfucker. <laughs> you know? I listen to all of this media stuff. And I realize now more than ever that what someone else says about an issue or what's going on, it's okay to listen to that. But you really need to be in touch with what you think of it. And you expressing that to someone else. It can't be one-sided. You got to step up to the plate and be who you are. If you are not a person that can sit there and speak your mind, that's okay. You can do it just by example. Just by example. Just being who you are, whatever that may be. And I honor, respect anyone being who they think they are and what they want to be in their life. That's so important for anybody. Wouldn't I want that? Wouldn't I want to be able to be who I am and say who I am and feel how I am and, and all that other good stuff? Damn, I'm rambling on for 21 minutes, 28 seconds. Um, I'm looking over here and my cat needs out, so I'm going to let her out, Miss Kitty. That's my mama's cat. And I am going to have a weekend of reflection, and I hope you do too. You've got to reflect on where you're at, what you're doing. You know, nobody has to know anything you're thinking. All you got to do is be confident, legal, happy, and centered. You think I'm centered? I'm still working on it, but I'll tell you what right now, if you won't go along every now and then with me, I'll, I'll be glad for anybody to watch me get my center. Because I don't think it's going to happen. I mean, it'll probably happen, you know, right before I die. And the next thing you know, they got a funeral and the whole nine yards and I'm out of here. The bottom line is, is I love you all. You, I don't give a damn if you don't believe that. Okay? I don't care. I don't care that you believe that I don't love you. I don't care about that. Because if I stay true and say what I mean and mean what I say, then it's gonna it's it's like a knife through butter, man. I mean it it really it cuts through it all. It really does over time mostly. But uh it's been weird. And I hope y'all have a great weekend and uh I thank you all for letting me ramble. You never really know someone until you know yourself. <laughs>